Bojum is the taller fighter and has a four inch reach advantage. Alexander came in at 171. It was contracted a different because the last minute replacement, Fulgham and Alexander agreed on a deal where the weight would be at, but Fulgham came in at 67 because he's going to be competing at 68 in the future. He's going to stay there. Fulgham in the camel. He's very confident in his abilities. Feels like he could be one of the best in the division. Gabe, you know that division very well. We were talking about this. Looks like he has the ability, but what does he have to do tonight to impress Gabe Rosado? You know, man, he just that has to outsmart the veteran, man. Set good shots up, show that power. You know, Vaughn ain't doing nothing. Nothing. He's not doing no punches. So, you know, you just got... And I think, I think Darius is not really committing... Because he's, a, he's, he's expecting <laughs> Vaughn to do what he just did right now. Well, let, how about some more of that as we head to the fourth? Yeah, that, that's pretty much what I what I just said. Because <laughs> you know, I think Darius is he knows that Vaughn is saving saving it for the later rounds. So he's kind of just you know pitty pattern, landing shots, winning the rounds. But I mean, I think just go for it. Just get the guy out of there. You know what I'm saying? Like, why are you saving yourself for the later rounds? If you could possibly get him out now, just do it. Your pain threshold is completely good. I don't even think you're human, man. But, you know, he, if it's the right hand, he's still got the left. See, Alexander's sitting on punches at times. Watch your forearm, Darius. There's a right hand from Alexander. But Alexander also throws one punch at a time, too. Yeah. And you know, man, like, it's like, I feel like they should add a rule to boxing. Like, when you fight like Bond, you need, like, a point deduction. <laughs> For real. Because it's like, what are you doing, man? You know. It's frustrating you get. But, but the thing is, you got to work. You know, you got to work. Like, look, come on. You're taking punch after punch after punch, and you're not answering back at all. 168 pounds. It's not fair to judge Darius Fulgham tonight. He, he told our crew that I'm going to be the best in the division. I'm going to be this. But when you're fighting with one hand, it's hard to judge. Man, look. Uh-oh. Really good. The, the thing is this. He started the fight like this. The first fight, he was throwing pinna pattern shots. So when he heard his hand in the camp, because he, you know what I mean, like, he started the fight like that. And it's, you know, you're a 27, I love it. You're, you're it. A 27-year-old prospect talking big talk that you're going to fight this guy, you want this guy, you're going to be this. But, bro, you, you're the main event. Right now, you got to showcase that and put on the show. What you doing right now? It's happening over here. When you said it after the first round, Gabe, like, what are you doing? Like, yeah, man, and it's like, it's frustrating because, you know, I don't really like to talk bad on fighters being a fighter like you know i respect fighters because you know you put your life on the line when you're in that ring but look man this is the entertainment business people come here and they pay their hard-earned money to be entertained got to see a, a sparring session you don't have to make weight if you keep on running with your municipal gear less than a minute to go in the fight The next weekend, Camarón Cepeda. Let's just say Camarón will throw over a thousand punches, maybe in a round. That's how active he is. So when you heard Oscar DeLoya talking about Virgil Ortiz in August, Munguia in July, Surdo sometime in the fall. Very active time for Golden Boy. And our Golden Boy fight night started with three KOs. Romay went the distance, Ten and the seconds, main event Ten will seconds. also go the distance. Bojo and Alexander. Five. Ten rounds. Good job, bro. Good job. The hug between two. Respect to the fighters.
Well, five fans, after ten rounds, we go to the scorecards. Both Raul Caiz and Fernando Villarreal score at 98 and 92. Eddie Hernandez, 99-91. All for your winner by unanimous decision. He is still undefeated. DMG, Darius Fulja. Sweeps the cards as expected, does Darius Fulja. Gets his hand raised, that right hand that he hurt.